Hello folks, my name is Yet Mutro Shani, Yet with uh, another recording. This time, uh, this time we wanted to cover some tips regarding Blackboard, things that we learn also from the questions that our faculty has. I have structure, structured this um, recording in two parts, outside of your course and inside of your course. Outside of your course, I'm talking about the area, the home page of Blackboard and inside of the course is once you access your course. So I'll cover some uh, tips perhaps uh, on with respect to the home page and then I'll cover some tips also inside once you access your course. So without further ado, um, I would like to share with you the following. Sometimes I see that faculty will keep a lot of old courses here. I want to share with you how you can fix that. So for example, if I click on this little gear and I'm going to make available some of my old courses. Hit submit here. Now these are my old courses, and if as the years and semesters go by, this the list can get pretty extensive, pretty long. So you can easily fix that by hovering over on a little gear here, clicking, and then uncheck the courses that you do not want to see. If you for some reason have more than one box checked, uncheck them. Make sure that it's clear and by hitting submit, now I have a more focused view on my course module so I can only see the courses that I need to see. Another module that I use is the CUNY application, which I think it will be useless for you. In my case, I use it to access Dropbox and Office 365. These are two, two, two different applications that I use very often to store uh, and share files with colleagues. So they are there. You also are welcome to use the other applications. Tools module, it's important. We have the question often, how do students update their emails? Right here, update email. Uh, it is encouraged that they update it to their CUNY email. As I scroll down here, another question we often have from, for, from uh, faculty members that teach different sections is how do I merge this section? Well, it's right here. It's called section merge tool by clicking on this link. I'll do that right now. So I'll click. Uh, I can set up a new merge. And then basically by clicking on the courses that I want to merge uh, and hitting submit, I have merged those two courses. So it's that straightforward. You can also always if you have questions, send an email to blackboard support at legcc.cuny.edu. They will definitely be able to support you. Finally, I want to talk to you briefly about the LaGuardia faculty module as well as LaGuardia how to. LaGuardia, LaGuardia faculty module will give you information about blackboard support, where you can go. You, this is the extension that you can call and also some other information re, uh, related to Blackboard support. LaGuardia How To is also, it's structured in a very simple way to give you the information you need in uh, uh, very uh, direct, simple steps on how to do certain things in Blackboard with respect to course management and other sections on Blackboard, so I encourage you to visit that as well. So these were some of the tips I wanted to share with you regarding the home page of Blackboard outside of your course per se. So now let's dive into your course. And let's say I'll click on one of my courses right here. And then uh, one of the first thing I'd like to share with you is the ability to view your course not as a faculty, but as a student. You, you want to view it in both ways to see exactly what students, how students experience, review, see your course. So you can easily do that by clicking on this icon, enter student preview. So I'll click that and now in a second or two, it takes me on a preview. It tells you student preview mode is on, which means you are now viewing your course as a student. Sometimes we, make of it uh, sometimes we deploy tests or post uh, announcements and assignments but we may forget to make them available so this is a good way to see how exactly student will preview the course 
uh, so you get the, the a sneak peek from, from the both sides, from student preview and of course from faculty, which is your managing role of the course. You can exit the preview to come back to the faculty um, uh, role by hitting e exit, and then I'll simply click continue here. And essentially, I'm back on the uh, uh, faculty role um, side. Uh, one thing that we discussed uh, on, with uh, Pablo and Jose regarding announcement was the ability to, to post an announcement and send an email at the same time. So if I want to create an announcement, I click create announcement. And this is where I would enter the subject. Message would go here, but don't forget if you scroll halfway down, you have the ability to also send a copy of this announcement immediately, which means this announcement will be posted on Blackboard and also will be sent as an email to the student as a copy. So that's how you would go about doing that. Eventually you would hit submit and that's the job is done. As I scroll up here, I have a banner. How do I uh, update my course with a banner? Well, you could do that by um, visiting, go here to control panel essentially under the section customization teaching style is where I want to go. I'll give a click on the teaching style and then as I scroll down here is the banner that I have. I could browse my computer, upload another banner. It would be viewable here by hitting submit then it will be posted on my course. I hope this is helpful. We'll, can, we'll definitely be discussing more tips in, in the uh, close future. But uh, I look forward to see you on our online uh, sessions. Take care and stay safe.